All right, we're so glad to have you here today. Amanda just needs one more second to make her way to stage, and we'll invite you to squish forward. All right, here she goes. Well, hello, everybody. So nice to see you, dusty folks. I mean, this is the best place to be gathering. I mean, I love all the other places, but this is so special to be able to come together in the city and, you know, go deep. I feel like we're able to drop in into places that are a little bit harder to get to in the rest of the civilized world. We have a different, we're building a new planetary civilization here, as far as I'm concerned. And, um, you know, on the subject of the mission, the sacred mission of art, um, Alex and Allison asked me to, to join them today, and we, we kind of split it up because of logistics. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about some of my work and, and some of why I see um, art as a really sacred mission. And um, then the Greys are going to come on next and have a lot to share with you as well. Um, I first came to Burning Man in 2007. I had known about it for a good 10 years before, and was like, wow. <laughs> I am going to make it to that place someday. And I knew that there would be some puzzle pieces that would really come together once I got there. And so was the case. And I, you know, I don't think I'm ever going to miss another burn unless there's an emergency. I mean, where else do I need to be right now? I mean, the, when I, <laughs> when I, 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 you know, when I really dropped into this, the deeper mission of like, what is, why do I do what I do? Why do I want to get up in the morning? Why do I want to pick up a brush? You know, after I had studied, I had, and, and I was really, really interested in learning how to paint anything. And I sought that out. I sought out incredible teachers and, you know, and then, it, I've, then you have all the tools and you're like, well, all right, now what am I going to do? And I always knew that I would know. Something in me said, you know, there's, don't worry about that, just keep going. And you know, taking that path of, of a humble warrior and being of service to the world around you and listening, listening. And so I learned how to listen to paintings. That was one of the biggest things that one of my great teachers, Ernst Fuchs, taught me. And uh, he didn't, it's not one of those kind of things that you can just teach somebody. You know, you learn something like that by observing. So just one little note of advice. If you're interested in learning something, be a good observer and be, be humble and be of service. Um, and so I saw about like, I think it was about seven years ago. Actually, it was 2011. You might, some of you might know this painting of mine, the Anasuramai, which is the act of lifting the skirt. It's a life-size self-portrait of me going like this ah, and flashing everybody. I won't do it to you right now. I'm not wearing a skirt. But it's known to be one of the most powerful gestures to scare away the devil or to stop an army in its tracks. And I learned about this in, from a book called um, The Story of V from Catherine Blackledge. And it changed my life. Because this statement, it changes lives. It's one of the most powerful statements, uh, you know, gestures to stop an army in its tracks or to scare away the devil. And I was like, does anybody else know about this? <laughs> And so I started asking around and everybody was like, no. I was like, wow, we could put down the weapons and just lift our skirts? Whoa, that's pretty special. <laughs> and so I did it, you know, and I made sure I wasn't like somebody else. It was me and it was a painting that was going to be for eternity. It's actually etched into a communication satellite time capsule that's in space. A um, friend of mine put it up there. <laughs> and. Um, so that painting, and I, I exhibited it for the first time at Burning Man, 2011, and it, it, you know, it changed things because I really also defined what I would lift my skirt to, the system that I didn't want to, that I really saw as the pain and the root and the, the suffering that was this, this you know, virus that, had been, that was so infiltrated. We needed to build places like this to help each other wake up, you know? And so I figured that that was going to be my commitment to make paintings that was going to help me wake up and everybody around me, because first it starts here, by going on that quest. And you know, when I start a painting, I don't really know what the outcome's going to be. But I have a sense, and I have a feeling, and I trust something. I trust to be guided. And I trust to be guided by this collective vision 
that is alive within all of us, that is coming through when we're, when we're asking, when we make ourselves available. And you make yourself available by stepping up to the canvas, picking up a brush, and going beyond your own fears that you're gonna not do something good, you're gonna mess it up, you know, and that's, that's the first hurdle. And the thing, I believe that every single one of us is an artist. We all have different ways of expressing, but a brush, every single one of us has picked up a brush before, or a pencil, right? We all did. At some point you decided, Nah, I'm not that good at that. No, that's not my thing. That's one of the first things I hear from people. And I was like, no, you know, you can do a dot, and you can do another dot, and then you can do some lines, and you're going to do it different than anybody else is going to do it. So this is what I love to teach, and I love to help empower people, and I believe that we're all painting the signposts for the future once we drop in to our deepest heart's desires. And, you know, we don't need to know the answers, but we need to go towards them. The, my, my dear friend, Lucian Tarnowski, he said, the future need, is going to be achieved. It's not just going to happen. It's going to happen if we just let it happen, but it's to be achieved. You know, what do you want? What's your vision for the future? So I want to show you a painting. I didn't put together a, an awesome slideshow like my friend Michael Devine because Michael is so awesome. <laughs> I'm really, I really love that. But I'm going to show you this one piece because I finished this this year for Burning Man because I realized, you know, you don't know why you do these things. Same. I don't know if everybody can see this. So this painting, I've carried it around for the past year and it's an evolution of this story and this vision that I call, call it the peace train sometimes. I call it the next biggest party on planet Earth. I call it the vision train. You see there's a train in here? You see it down here? So in the train is this vessel that I believe can take us back on the tracks that took us to the end of the western frontier. And it can carry a city. It can carry the, the tools, the experts, the visionaries, the ones that are already on board to build new stations and strengthen the stations of the network of the new planetary civilization. One that is not competitive, it's collaborative. One that is filled with, with health and wealth, you know, of the true wealth, which is our health, of mind, body, and spirit. You know, and we, we're gonna do this by example. There's no other way. You know, we can talk about it all we want, but it's time to now act and really live it, which a bunch of you are doing, you know? And here I'm preaching to the choir because, you know, we wouldn't make it to the end. <laughs> you know, this dusty, dusty city without this. And you see Burning Man is in here. And I like to put Burning Man in a lot of paintings as well because it's, you know, the grid at least. Because to me, it's a symbolic uh, structure of, you guys wanna see? Symbolic structure that is, goes beyond the, the box, <laughs> you know, of how so many of our cities are set up. You know, and the, and the buildings, you know, let's go to round things again. You know, more curves, more, um, yeah, more plants, more food forests everywhere. And so I've been starting to paint this, like, interface between the city and this new vision, this new place, you know. And let's, I want to see that interface happen more and more and more and more. And bringing, instead of, here we learn to leave no trace. But I think it's time that we leave a trace of awesome. You know? <laughs> of like think, really thinking seven generations in the future. You know, so this painting is called Regenerating Heaven on Earth. Thank you, David. <laughs> um, I, had sent, I had finished this and like, you know, I feel like I, I, I could keep painting forever on these paintings, and I will. You know, they're gonna keep, they, the, the vision is not, there's no finished here. We are, we are going into the frontier deeper and deeper and deeper. And I invite all of you to help me paint this. Help us paint this. You know, help write about it. Help make movies about it. Help make songs about it. You know, let's dream the future into being through bringing our dreams out of us, you know, and expressing them. And so, thank you, Liana, so much. 
This is hanging up um, also at the Vision Train station, 330 and C. There's a bunch, there's like over 20 banners of my work hanging up there. And some of my friends put up this gorgeous gallery and at nighttime they've got changing lights and it's really fun to stop by. And we have another coloring project there. It's called the Vision Train. I have a bunch of paper here too. And I've been doing this for the past couple years, kind of beta style is what I say. I'm like, we're not fully online yet. But it's an invitation to draw your train car. And I've collected probably about a thousand by now, going into schools all over the world and um, homeless shelters. I've worked with homeless teenagers in Skid Row, downtown LA, you know, gathering visions from people at Burning Man, all over the place. And it's an invitation. What it is is you drop in to this container is, is yours. It's your safe zone. In there, you can do whatever you want. So what do you really want? Why don't you, and if you don't know, why don't you invite it and sit down and all you have to do is pick up one color. And you know what happens when, you, when you're like, okay, I wanna pick up one color, you look at all the colors, one of them's gonna jump out at you. I promise. <laughs> and trust it. And then you pick it up and then you just keep going and see where it goes. And then on the back, you can write your vision out. And this is your prayer, this is your good. This is your gift, this is your superpower. And then you can also hook it into the train by giving your consent. And um, let's see where it goes. I have a goal now, and I've been telling this openly as my witness, all of you, um, that I think we can do a million train cars by next year. And I think that <laughs> because all this needs to do is go online, you know, and spread the word, you can download this and draw, do this with your kids, with your friends. You know, and what it does is it's bringing that prayer in deeper for each of us so that we become more committed to our own prayer, you know, in whatever way that is. And so I see the train as this vessel, the peace train. It's not a new concept, but it's still coming. And to me, this is something that we're going to do. I know it's going to happen, and we're doing it already. And it's the, the, the tracks are laid all over the world. Now it's time to go back on those tracks to regenerate the world through love, through peace, and through that example. We don't, have to, we don't have to be in conflict. We can be curious about each other. We can celebrate our differences. And love, love, that's the answer. It is. <laughs> that's me. All right. So, If you like, I, I have quite a few of these with me. If you feel like you want to take one with you, if you can fit it in your bike or something, and then you can always come by and drop it off, or there's some ways to find me. You can also just look me up in the, in the you know, those interwebs, Amanda Sage, you'll find me easily. And um, also I got some stickers of this painting too, so if you want to come by and say hi afterwards, do. And yeah, are you guys ready? Thanks. All right, everybody, please give it up for Amanda Sage.